Appointed to the South African Airways Board of Directors by former President Jacob Zuma, Miani is defending herself at her delinquency case in the High Court in Pretoria. Let's go live there. Emirates requested an engagement, having been made uncertain as to my reason for cancelling my press around SAA Emirates relationship enhancement. I advised Emirates that we don't have complete unanimity at this time and that I do not want to be in a position of contradiction with my chair on this matter. Emirates advised that they would escalate to the highest office in South Africa as they feel that SAA have not acted in good faith nor presented any reason for not signing the non-binding MOU. They further advised that the failure to make any further progress not only threatens the value of the proposition on the table, but would force them to re reconsider the existing relationship with SAA. Noting that this means 170, that's his bracket, says noting that this means 170 million rand per year to SAA in current profits as well as considering the strategic cooperative cooperation agreements signed with Emirates by Minister of Tourism in early May. Goes on, says, I advise that I cannot or rather do not want to execute the MOU without the concurrence of my chairperson. Terrorism. It says, in the early hours of 16 June, I received a call from the SAA chair advising that the chair had in the early hours of 16 June received a call from sorry had received a call from the president on this matter to which I provided background that Emirates had threatened to escalate but obviously that such escalation would not be through me by 8 o'clock on 16 June the Emirates business representative in SA confirmed the escalation to the president. Shortly after which I received an SMS from the chair that I am not to execute the non-binding MOU. You see that? Do you recall those words? I do. Is it true that you called the acting CEO in the early hours of 16th June? I called the CEO, but not in the early hours. I don't, I don't know what that means, but I did call the CEO and on the 16th of June. And when you called the CEO, what did you say to him? I asked him a question, how come I get President Zuma calling me as the then president of the country at the time? In fact, it escaped me to even try to comprehend how does he know that South African Airways is busy with a memorandum of understanding between an airline to the airline. My lady, I don't know if it would serve this court well if I were to explain the protocol. I am an old lady that very much respects the protocol. The protocol. Thank, Thank you me. very much. Thanks, my lady. There you have it, former SAA board chair Dudumieni finally taking the stand in that delinquency case. She's facing allegations that she was part of the reason why the national carrier is now on its knees. But Mieni, in her defense, denied being handpicked by former President Jacob Zuma to be the airline's board chair. She also questions uh, on, 
uh, on the collapse of a deal with Emirates, which has been a contentious issue, Mien refuted the reports that it was her board's decision to cancel that deal. Instead, she says the National Treasury rejected the suggestion to continue with the deal. She's spoken against media reports, blaming her board for that very same decision. Ms. Yeni told the court it was untrue that she gave direct orders to the executive, which is something we've been seeing in the media, that she's been interfering, and it's an allegation. Also, we heard at the state capture inquiry, but today she, will, she put forward her side of the story saying it is not true. This is a developing story and a live event you can keep watching on our YouTube channel. But now they've since taken.